Well, hello there. Now, I was going to discuss the match last night, the uh, United-Chelsea game. Uh, I do it uh, pretty regularly these last few weeks as the channel's been running. And I do what I call the verdict, where I give my verdict on what I've seen and see if it hits the right spot with other fans or whether they think I'm absolutely going mad. But I'm not going to do that today. And the reason I'm not going to do that is it was like almost a dud game. United needed the one point so they couldn't be caught by Liverpool and that was always going to happen because Chelsea can't buy a win to save their lives. But it was a weird game. Chelsea finishing was atrocious. They could have had four or five goals. We could have had eight, ten or eleven goals. Some of the decision making was awful and it was just a crap game in lots of respects. Although there was exciting moments. But I'm going to take two or three moments away from yesterday's game. Just a couple of comments, a couple of thoughts. I'm not going to be loved by these, by United fans especially. Um, and most other fans are going to laugh at me at comment number two. But comment number one is this. Bruno Fernandes, you are a cheat. So there you go, I've said it. Bruno Fernandes, you are a cheat. Comment number two, again on Bruno Fernandes. I think you're an absolutely fantastic player. I love you. I think you're brilliant. I don't often disagree with old Graham Souness, believe it or not. But when he says you're not captain material, I totally disagree. I think on a couple of occasions this year, maybe last year, you've not shown yourself in a great light. Well, you may have given up on the match, but nine and a half times out of ten, you run your blood to water. You never stop trying, creating, finishing the whole shooting match. You're up and down that pitch like I cannot believe. The, the shift you put in virtually every game is phenomenal. It really is. And you've probably pay, played more minutes than most anybody else in the Premier League this year, I would imagine. You just never stop. You never normally tend to give up. You're a brilliant player. This is comment number two. I believe, were you to play for Manchester City, God forbid it would ever happen, I wouldn't want it to, I believe people would say you're every bit as good as Kevin De Bruyne who everybody raves about. City fans won't have that. The rest of fans throughout the Premier League won't have that. And I bet there's a lot of Man United fans that won't have that and think, no, no, he's not that good. I think you are. He's playing at the moment with a better team. They've been better coached for eight or six or eight years. They've been consistently winning trophies. They play with absolutely loads of possession, loads of ball. He has loads of outlets. United haven't got that or had that up to this point. If he was at City, he would be every bit as good. But I've said that on a few occasions, Bruno's favourite colour must be green. Because he's always looking at the turf, he's always got his head to the turf. I don't mean looking for him standing up, I mean he's laying on the floor. If a feather was to touch his ankle or his leg, he wouldn't only go down, but he would go down grimacing, and he would go down with his arms flailing, and his head all over the place. The first penalty he went for last night, which wasn't a penalty, um, was ridiculous. The second penalty, which was a penalty, which he got, was again ridiculous. There was contact, but it was minimal. He went down like he was shot. The referee took a while to give it, because I'll tell you now, the referee didn't want to give it. I honestly believe he didn't want to give it because of the theatrics involved, but he realised it was one and he'd have to. You're making it, Bruno, so people aren't liking you, people throughout football, and referees aren't liking you. Play the game fairly. Keep on your feet. You're no good to United when you're 10, 20, 30, 40 yards out and you go into ground. You can't help us defensive-wise. You can't help us in an attacking third. Keep on your feet. I wish to goodness we had Roy Keane on the coaching staff there as number two and number three. And he would probably say, because I'd always a lover of it, he would probably say, Bruno, what I want you to do now for the next three Fridays or Saturdays, no, it'd be Thursdays or Fridays, Thursdays or Fridays, we've not got a game on, I want you to watch Rugby League now for the next three weeks. Have a look at what puts them to the ground, or should I say, what doesn't. They can get banjoed like a, like a, a steam train at them, and they won't go down. It's a men's game played by men. For all them that call Graham Sooners, they're not going to call me in if they do, I'm not bothered. Football is a men's game played by men, or should be. And we're not playing it like men anymore. And it's not just United. I mean, when I say Bruno's a cheat, Mo Salah's been the same. Ronaldo, before that's where it started with Ronaldo, he first came over here, what a breath of fresh air, what a player. But he did all that falling over, the rolling round, rolling round, roll. 
he'd hold his ankle or his leg like he'd had his leg broke but that's after he'd rolled 12 times I mean you don't roll around 12 times when you've got your leg broke so it was obviously was feigning it all and he's done it and he's become a better player and a better player and carried on doing it he's done it throughout his career and when when players of lesser ability see the best in the game doing it they follow suit and that's what's happened maybe it happens in the lower leagues I don't know because I only tend to watch the, the Premier League maybe it happens in grassroots football now it's a cancer and it needs cutting out it's absolutely crazy and Bruno you are one of the best at it or should I say worst in the Premier League stop it stay on your feet if you properly trip go down you'll get a penalty don't feign it don't make it up it, it makes you look a bad person it makes you look like a cheat you are cheating loads of players in the league now cheat loads cheat it's a common thing but some people I are you and Salah are cheats because you do it every single time and every single time you, you're going for a, a 9 out of 10 with Pike every single time stop going down play the game like it's supposed to be played you men but it baffles me what did people think of the Anthony incident I thought I, I, was, I thought it was a typical cry wolf he went rolling round there looked to be absolutely no contact there has been he's hurt himself he might have hurt it in the fall it might have been his own fault although I'm not so sure it was something strange must have just happened there because I'll tell you now there was virtually no contact he went down like he was shot and again the, the referee didn't want to stop the game didn't want to give a free kick because again Anthony does it all the time as well if Bruno's our number one performer Anthony's number two and it really does me head in and I for one more never for one month thought he was going to be injured even though they brought a stretch out and what have you I thought he's going to stand up on the touchline shortly and be back on never thought he was injured for one moment and it is the cry wolf syndrome you see it that many times and you think he's play acting he could have been really really bad yesterday and they might have even stopped the game for him you know which would have been wrong but at the end of the day the referees they, they watch you every single week and you play at every single week please start playing the game correctly play the game properly they were my big thoughts on last night. I mean, again, Martial or Aguirre, as I call him, was crap, did nothing again. A few didn't do great, but on the whole, they played reasonably well. De Gea, again, played well, some great shot stops. We need to know with De Gea whether we're going to carry on with his playing out from the back, because if we, if we are, he's got to go. If we're not, I would still keep him for another season or two. He's still a great goalkeeper. But they were my thoughts on last night. I don't know what you'll think. I would imagine United fans will have me shot. Uh, most fans don't believe you should turn on your own club. It isn't turning on. I say what I see, and I do that regularly, and regularly we're united. It isn't all sweetness and light with me. If I see something that I think is wrong, or that I'm not happy with, I use this place to air it, rightly or wrongly. But to, to the, at the same time, if I see something great, I'll say it. As I said, like the hail last night, I thought it was great. Lindelof, since he's come back in, he surprised me. I wanted him gone. Don't want him gone anymore. Don't want him to be a starter central defender, but he's a brilliant backup. He's been really, really good this last four, five, six weeks. I would suggest one of our better players. Really surprised me. Um, anyway, that's it from me. Don't know what you think yourselves. I'll leave it with you.